Playing with some RGB LEDs sounds cool, right? But control them with your smartphone, it's even cooler. Today, I'm gonna show you how to build yourself a color changing LED strip controlled with your Android smartphone and a Bluetooth connection. We are going to create the Android app, install it on our smartphone, establish the Bluetooth connection, and control the color of the lights. So get ready and let's start this project. <laughs> What's up my friends, welcome back! Let's jump directly to the tutorial. There is no theory part for this project. The materials that we need for this tutorial are very basic. As the title of this video says, for the microcontroller we are going to use our dear Arduino. Of course, we will need an RGB LED strip. I bought mine from eBay for very cheap. It has 5 meters and 300 RGB LEDs. And it cost around $6. RGB stands for red, green and blue. Combining together those three colors, we could obtain a broad variety of new colors. The next component that we will need is a 12 volts DC transformer to supply the LED strip. It should have an output of around 1.5 amperes or more. You could also supply it using 12 volts batteries or a battery bank. But at full brightness, this system could draw more than one damper of current, and that would empty the batteries very fast. The next thing that we will need are some BJT transistors. Maybe you wonder why do we need transistors? The answer is obvious. The maximum current output of the Arduino is around 200 mA. But we just said that the last trip could draw more than one amper of current, so we should have something in between to boost up the current for us and transistors are the perfect component in this case. We will also need some resistors, wires and basically that's it. First, let's take a look at the LED strip input. It has four wires. The first one, usually white colored, is the positive 12 volts input. The other three are the red, green and blue color signal input. To give more or less brightness to each color, we should apply a 5V low-current PWM signal to each input using the Arduino. The bigger the pulse width gets, the brighter that specific color will be. And to obtain different colors, we just have to combine some of these three basic colors. But as I said before, we can't connect directly the PWM signal pins from the Arduino to the input of each color. We have to put a transistor for each pin. So if the LED strip already has 12 volts supplied to it, the modulated signal that we should apply to each color pin should be directed to ground in order to close the circuit. That's why we are going to use a BD140 PMP transistor with the emitter pin connected to the RGB output pins, or a BD681 NPN transistor with the emitter pin connected to ground. In this way, each time that the PWM signal is positive, the transistor will allow current to flow from the LED strip to ground and at the same time through the LEDs making them glow. Be careful, if you use a PMP transistor, for full brightness the PWM signal should be zero and in case of an NPN transistor the signal should be 255, which is maximum. You could find in the video description both schematics using NPM or PMP transistors and the kind of signal that you have to give in each case. To limit the transistor base current, we should add the 1 kilo ohm resistor between the Arduino pin and the transistor. So basically, our circuit is ready. This should be the final schematic. Remember to share ground between the 12V transformer and the Arduino. If the components don't share a common ground, the circuit won't work. But something it's missing. The project isn't called just Arduino LED strip. A small element is missing and that is the Bluetooth module. I will use the HC06 Bluetooth module that uses the wired connection to share data with the Arduino. It costs around $4 on eBay. The connection is very easy. Supply 5 volts and ground from the Arduino to the module ground and VCC pins. Connect the RX pin to the TX pin and the TX pin to the RX pin like in any other wired connection. Now the circuit schematic is ready. Remember that you have all the schematics and extra info in the description down below. So now we are ready to receive data via the Bluetooth connection. 
all we need is the Android app that will send the data. I've created my app using the App Inventor. In a past video, I've shown you how to create your own Android app using this tool and how to send data to the Arduino with it. Watch that video if you want to see more on how to build your app. The link is in the description. This will be the main interface of my app with a button for each color. In the blocks section we can see that we sent a different character for each button. I sent R for red, B for blue and G for green and so on. So download this app from the link in the description. Copy it on your device memory using the USB or download it directly with your smartphone. Now, in order to install it, you should first allow a no origin application to be installed on your smartphone. To do that, just go to Settings, Security and scroll down to the Unknow Origin setup and there check the Allow Unknow Origin application to be installed. Now open the folder where the downloaded app is and install it. Once installed, open the app and we are done. Oops, we forgot to program the Arduino. This is the code. We define the three color pins and start the serial communication. This serial communication is the same for the USB monitor and for the Bluetooth module since they use the same RX and TX pins. In the loop, we can see that we only take action when the serial read is higher than zero, which means that we receive a new data. We store that data and using some if operators we decide which signal to activate. To create the PWM signal, we use the analog write function. The Arduino PWM values go from 0, which is no signal at all, up to 255, which will be the maximum brightness. If we take a look at this table, we can see the PWM amount that we have to give to each of the three basic colors to obtain the desired one. For example, to obtain this kind of orange, we have to give a maximum signal to red and a 204 signal to green. But this is in case of an NPN transistor. For a PMP transistor, the signal value should be just the opposite. Now, if we go back to the Arduino code, when I receive the character O, which is the send character for orange, we generate a 255 PWM signal for red and a 204 for green. We leave blue at zero. We do the same for each of the other colors. And we are done. Now we just have to upload the code. But be careful, you can't upload the code to the Arduino if the Bluetooth module is connected to the RX and TX pins. Those are the same pins used for the wired connection between the FTDI module and the Atmega microcontroller. Disconnect the pins before upload. Once uploaded, connect back the pins. This time our circuit is ready. I've used the NPN transistor circuit, so the maximum brightness is obtained with a full width PWM. The emitter pin of the transistor is connected to ground and the collector to the RGB output. Before we connect, we have to add the Bluetooth module to our smartphone devices. To do that, power up the Bluetooth module and then go to the Bluetooth settings on your smartphone. Search for devices and select the HC06 when found. The password should be four zeros or one, two, three, four. Now that we have our module synchronized, we open the app. Touch the Bluetooth icon and in that list select the HG06 module. Now just touch the desired color and observe the magic. Before we make this circuit permanent by soldering it on a PCB, if you want more colors for your app, just make your own app watching my other video as a guide. Another option would be to download a new free app from the Android Play Store. Just search for Less Trip, RGB for Arduino, Bluetooth RGB or something like that. I haven't tried any of these apps so I can't recommend you any of them. But I can give you this Arduino code. Use this code to see the data that each application is sending. In the case of my own created application, I already know that my app will send an R for red and B for blue. But when you download the application from the Play Store, you could not know that. So what this code do is print to the serial monitor the received data. I'll do that for my app as an example. Upload the code, connect the Bluetooth device and open the serial monitor. Now when I press the red button, you can see that the R character is printed on my screen. 
do the same for any other compatible application and write down the data for each button, and then edit your code to match your colors. I want to put this strip around all my room. I will join together two 5 meter strips. For that I will use this 3 amp transformer. I solder all the components to a drilled PCB. Put 4 male pins for the LED strip input and a screw connector for the 12 volt supply. Solder some female pins for the Bluetooth module and the Arduino and this project it's done. I put the LED strip in place using double side tape. I power up the circuit, connect my smartphone and done. My room is now officially electronooped. Yeah, I have just invented that word. Well, I hope that you liked this video. If you want to help my channel grow, give a like to this video and share it with your friends. That will help a lot. Also, help my project on my Patreon site and obtain your reward. If you have any question, leave it in the comment section below or on my Q&A page. Always check the video description and my webpage for more information. Thanks again and see you later guys.